Hey, I'm Evan, Head of Engineering for RM Stator. Today we're going to look at our new Voltage Regulator Rectifier Bypass Kit for Polaris Sportsman and uh, Scrambler and other model ATVs that use the uh, Polaris SurePower module. So if you're familiar with this, um, here's the most recent version of the SurePower module. It's a silver box. Um, the older versions were a black box, but they all had the same connectors out here on the end. And they mounted up front on the ATV in front of the headlight. Now, this module did a, a couple different things for the ATV. They combined the voltage regulator rectifier in this box along with circuit breakers and the fan control for the cooling fan. So you had a lot of functions combined in one unit and that probably seemed like a great idea uh, 20 years ago when they were making these, but the problem these have always had is the voltage regulator rectifier fails and you lose your charging system. Most of the other functions inside the fan control, the circuit breakers continue working fine, but the regulator fails. And you can always replace this with another SurePower module to get up and running. Um, in fact, we are building our own version to replace this entire SurePower box, and that's one solution. But one thing we wanted to do for people that are tired of having the voltage regulator function fail inside of this and having to replace this expensive complete module is to make a kit to bypass the voltage regulator inside with a modern MOSFET voltage regulator um, that goes direct to the battery so you get much better charging, much more reliable um, regulator for your charging system. So our kit is really simple. It includes one of our CNC uh, aluminum housing MOSFET regulators. We've made these and sold them for a very long time. They are excellent and super reliable and it can be mounted in many places on the ATV. We'll show you one way of doing it. And then we include our harness here that really is very simple to install. You have your connection directly to the battery, two ring terminals, a red and a black wire for negative and positive. And then we have three yellow wires that are going to attach uh, to the stator that used to be plugged into the SurePower module. So we'll look closer on the ATV, but I'll show you. Right here on your module, whether you have this newer version with a harness sticking out or the older version that's a black box, will just have three male terminals sticking out of the box. Uh, that's what you end up with here on the wires. This is where you will disconnect from the harness uh, from your stator on the vehicle. You'll just unplug this and leave it hanging, no longer needed. Your three yellow wires from our harness will plug into your stator, which we'll show you on the ATV. And then you'll route the wires to your battery. And it's that simple. You can mount the regulator wherever you'd like. Again, we'll show you an option. And that bypasses the internal voltage regulator here. It gives you a really, really reliable uh, conversion for your charging system. So we're gonna go to the ATV now and we'll show you how to install one of these. Okay, so we're dealing with a, a 2004, I believe, Sportsman 500 HO. This um, is a uh, test ATV that we've been using for this project and developing our own SurePower module. And it's not running at the moment for a carburetor rebuild and other, other things. It's a pretty well-worn ATV, so we're getting it fixed up a little bit here as we're almost done with it and gonna get ready to sell it. Um, so I already have all the bodywork off of this, the panels, the seats, everything has been removed. Um, so I'm not gonna show you how to do that because this thing's already stripped down, but um, it's not a big deal. I'm gonna show you this mounting location that it's a great, uh, a great option, but really there's plenty of room on the harness and you can mount the voltage regulator anywhere you'd like. I'd recommend trying to keep it somewhere maybe out of the wheel well area where it's gonna get a lot of mud and water on it if you can help it, but it is waterproof and that's not gonna kill it. Uh, it's just if you can find a kind of more protected area, it certainly would be nice. Um, so what I chose on this ATV is uh, there's a square tube here that's part of the frame uh, that runs here under the gas tank. And really simple, I took the housing here and I used two self-tapping screws and drilled them through and mounted it to the frame just like this. I'll have to screw these in and mount it here in just a second permanently so we can attach the harness. But this is my recommendation is a great spot on the frame since there's, there's lots of room, um, good size tubing. It can easily support the regulator, doesn't interfere with the shift linkage, and it makes it really easy to route the wires here and we can tie them up to the frame away from the exhaust pipe. So this is a great option, but again, it's really up to you. You can get creative. Um, we haven't uh, installed this on every single ATV that it fits. It'll certainly work with anything with the SurePower module, but um, I obviously can't install it on every uh, Magnum and Scrambler and whatever the other models are um, and check every fitment. So it's kind of up to you to where to mount it. 
here's a great option. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up so the regulator is mounted here, and then we're gonna move up front and get started on the harness. Okay, so we're up here at the front of the ATV. Um, I've removed the front cover, the front fenders. You don't have to remove the front fender because you can get to the connector without it, but we've done it so you can get a good clear shot of what's going on. The sure power module, this one's loose here since I was demonstrating it, but is mounted to the uh, front frame right here. So I have it sitting in its location. And what we're looking for is this connector right here. So you can see three yellow wires that come out of the sure power module. They come into this kind of plastic bundle here with the connector and then three wires coming from the stator right here. So that's what we want to unplug. Everything else stays plugged in. So, we go ahead and unplug it. So this is the old part uh, of the harness or the connector from the sure power module. If you had the old version that was a black box, you would have three male terminals sticking straight out of the box. And again, that's where you would unplug your stator from and leave that alone. So that part can just stay loose. It's not powered, it's not gonna be used. And here is our connector directly from the stator. So this is what we wanna connect our harness to. Now, I'm not done with routing the harness here. I'm gonna route it and then I'll show you a path, but I'm just showing you how to connect it here. From our harness, we have three yellow wires. They are going to plug in to the three terminals and they can be plugged in in any order. It does not matter. So you plug all three in just like that. Um, now, originally these were in this plastic bundle that, that kind of protected them and kept them tight. Um, we insulate them and you plug them in like this and it's just fine. But if you want to, you can also run some tape or heat shrink or anything you'd like around to secure them even further into the connector. So that is all the connection that you do up front. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is route the harness and I'll show you how I've done it. And then we'll show you how to plug it into the regulator and connect it to the battery terminals. And that's about it. Okay. So we have our harness routed and we're going to show you how we did it. Here is our two connectors plugged into the voltage regulator, the black to the black connector, the gray to the gray connector. They're keyed so you can't plug them in wrong. So we have them attached right here. Our wires are going and crossing across the frame underneath here and we'll, to finish this, zip tie it up to the frame to finalize it. So we're gonna go around to the other side now. Okay, so right here, we can see our wiring harness where it crosses through the frame and this is where it splits. Going towards the front, we have our three yellow wires that we've routed up here, kind of following the existing fuel lines and wire bundle. And we have it up here and plugged into our stator connector. Okay, and then going backwards to the battery, we route the harness along the frame and it's going to cross over here. We're actually gonna run it under the frame around to the battery terminals. We're about to change the battery in this and do some other work, so I'm not gonna finalize the connection, but it's, Red to battery positive, black to battery negative, and right to the ring terminals. So very easy connection. So once you do that, tie up your wiring, make sure it's all cleaned up, and uh, put your bodywork back on and you're done. That's your voltage regulator bypass install for the Polaris ATVs.